I'm gonna try a little bit of a different format. Hopefully you like it. Please let me know in the comments below if it's something that you would like to see more, but hope you find it interesting. Let's get it. Welcome back to another Kendo Tips video. My name is Jose, I'm a Yonda in Kendo, and today, wait for that card to pass by. We're going to be talking about Nishimura Skote. I do streamings every Sunday at 3.30 p.m. and today I kind of just finished one um, stream and we're talking about Kote specifically. It kind of gave me this idea that uh, I think it will be useful to kind of break down some little details and some studies and some of the things that I noticed while I was doing the stream that I kind of just want to share with everybody that maybe you know, you didn't attend the stream, you don't have the time to sit down through all the whole thing. This a little bit of like, kind of like the highlights of it. So hopefully you enjoy this. Uh, let me know again, if this formal works out for you. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. It's free, I promise. But I'm trying to make it to a thousand, I'm very close. I really appreciate your subscription and hit that like button if you enjoyed this videos. Okay? So let me switch up to this other screen and we can see what I have prepared for you. So in today's streams, what I did is like I downloaded uh, several videos for uh, Ippons, for uh, Miyazaki, uh, Uchimura, and Nishimura. And we studied some of the things that made Kote successful and some of the things that we can do to improve our Kote. But because a lot of people kind of always talk to me about uh, Nishimura's Kote and I think there's something very specific about the, the things that he's doing, I think I'm going to break it down for you a little bit of some of the details that I noticed and maybe some of the things that you can practice at home to get this type of kote into your repertoire. One of the things that I've been talking a lot about in my streams, it's, I'm calling it anchoring, and it's kind of the use of the left foot to create power to move your body. Not necessarily you're gonna move your body only with your calf, but it's allowing your left foot to be in a place where you can put pressure to use your leg and your hips and everything to move you forward. In here, as you can see, when he's approaching in forward, one thing that he's really doing is using that left leg to create power. Once he is getting into that position, throughout this whole time, he is keeping his hands in command. A lot of times we make the mistake to kind of like, we want to jump the gun a little bit because we're eager to get that ipo. A lot of times we make that motion with the hands before our body is really in a good position. So I think it's very important to keep the hands in Kamai as if kind of like nothing's happening, kind of like keep the opponent at ease in that sense. So they don't overreact and they don't move where you want them to go uh, or, you know, get away from a position that's in advantage for you. Something very specific that he's doing here is that the left hand is the one doing the work. If you notice here, a lot of times people kind of move the right hand, like the right arm to bring the shinai down and up, but he is keeping the right arm kind of in the same position. It's almost just aligning the shinai with the opponent's kote, but it's not in charge of bringing the tip down or up. If you notice closely, the left hand is the one kind of doing the action to bring the sword down and up. But that tip of the shinai, if you see it, it's not going below the kote of the opponent. It's staying right in the same area, it's staying in the center, not only with the center of the opponent, but also keeping uh, keeping track of the opponent's kote. So staying in there, kind of going a little bit down, then he starts pulling the tip up. Now, at this point, his shinai, his hands, are in the position where they're already starting the motion to go down. To do, to do the cut. Uh, right now he's fighting Uchimura. So in Uchimura's angle of the sword, it's not necessarily at that point. It's it, it's at a point where it's applying pressure forward, but Nishimura kind of already broke to that center and it's already in the position where he's gonna cut down for that kote. Now it's again using the left hand. Notice that he hasn't pulled the right arm to bring the tip up. And now he places the right arm forward and then creates that snap with that tenochi. Uh, I, I made some videos before about you know the swing and the tenochi and, and so on. If you want to see more, I'll leave a playlist over here just so you can see that. But here he's applying, he's getting that force into the shinai to get that cut, not only with the energy that he drove from his left foot into his body, 
but with that tenuchi and that ability to bring the sword down in such a snap with a good reach out notice he's not having the hands close to his body key to this that i don't know if you're going to see it in the slow motion oh yeah as you see it is that he comes in forward to close the distance after the attack in order to not get that 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 hit so even though that he got that kote he's still being aware that the opponent can still do something so he's closing the distance and immediately immediately after he's out of that immediate danger he turns around to keep the opponent in his in his eyesight and his view that's kind of what i wanted to share today with you i kind of wanted to do a little bit of a breakdown it's a little bit of improvised i just finished my stream and i thought it would be something interesting to share with you please let me know if there's something that you enjoy maybe after i finish every stream i'll take some time to do specifically just that and share those things with you uh please let me know in the comments below we really really appreciate it and in any ways, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. I really enjoyed making these videos and I wanna do videos that are useful and important for you. So let me know if there's anything specific you want to see or something specific you want me to do. And so yeah, till the next time, I'll see you maybe on Sundays at 3.30, if not up here in the channel and some videos. So thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one, bye-bye.